Today our guest is Elon Musk. Hey Mr Musk, welcome to the Cyber Bridge, where we delve into the future of education for our children. Hi Joyce, thanks for having me here. As a father myself, I have a deep interest in how education is evolving. Mr Musk, with AI rapidly advancing, as a mother of an eight-year-old girl, I find myself questioning the effectiveness of traditional education. What drove you to establish Ad Astra School for your own children? Absolutely. I've found myself dissatisfied with the conventional education system, much like an assembly line, which places too much emphasis on tools and formulas rather than nurturing genuine interests and skills. I don't want my children to spend time um, learning about a subject only for that subject to be outdated by the time they enter the workforce. This conviction led me to found Ad Astra. I completely understand. It's crucial that our children are engaged with their education and develop skills that will be relevant in the future. Can you explain further how Ad Astra stands out from traditional schools? Instead of the traditional way of learning by repeating, practicing, memorizing the curriculum to pass a test, only to forget that information within a few weeks, we removed grade levels and focused on um, project-based learning to tailor education to each child's unique abilities and interests focusing on real-world problem-solving and creativity rather than rote learning. So there's no separation by age in Astronova? That's right. There aren't any grades. Making all children go to the same grade at the same time is like an assembly line. Instead, children aged 7 to, to 14 work together in teams based on their interest and ability rather than their age. What is the learning experience like for students at Astronova? Kids are all grouped into small groups based on interest, and will work together on specific projects, ranging from developing robots, creating software to address real-life challenges, and understanding the implications of AI. Interesting. This certainly diverges from the traditional approach to learning. Yes. Uh, our brains have evolved to discard information that they feel is irrelevant. If we learn something, just we can pass a, a test. 90% um, of that information is likely to be forgotten within 30 days of that test. At Astronova, everything taught needs to be given a powerful why and must be truly relevant and clearly beneficial to that child. So, they have the hunger to learn. That makes so much sense. Giving kids a strong reason to learn and showing them how it matters in the real world, it's a great way to make learning stick. So, what qualifications do Astronova educators possess? Astronova has an international academy team comprising a diverse array of experts in geochemistry, cosmochemistry, planetary science, astronomy, and astrobiology, as well as industrial engineers, filmmakers, and multimedia artists. They bring real-world experiences into the classroom, facilitating a learning environment where students can explore their passions from leading practitioners in their fields. Wow, that's impressive. Having such a varied team of experts really brings education to life. By the way, what are the most popular subjects at your school? At Astronova, students can engage in a variety of hands-on projects through a module we call A-Frame, where they can create everything from weather balloons to battle bots. We've also introduced our own unit of currency named the Astra, allowing students to uh, engage and trade with one another. Three times a year, we host an event known as the Bazaar, where students essentially run their own businesses. That sounds fascinating. My daughter would absolutely love this approach. Mr. Musk, you established the school back in 2014, yet it seems Astronova has evolved into a model of education well suited for the rapid advancements in AI we see today. I'm convinced, more than ever, that our traditional approach to education needs to adapt to these changes. What suggestions can you give to parents like me? Absolutely. By 2035, we will be surrounded by AI robots, hybrid cars, smart cities, and weekly space missions. Kids today, like your daughter, will be the ones leading these changes. They'll need more than just good grades. They need to really want to learn. We should provide an environment that they can explore what they love, ask questions, and keep learning. Giving them chances to try new things, solve problems, and follow their interests is key. Most importantly, we should set an example as lifelong learners and critical thinkers ourselves.